Hello everyone, you're watching the channel Military TV. Today we'll show you the top 10 largest military transport aircraft. Often we receive many questions, which is the largest military transport airplane in the world? All of these military airlifters mentioned here are incredibly large. Our analysis is based on specifications, available data, and technical comparison. The main factors are size of the aircraft and their payload capacity. This list does not contain aircraft that are currently under development or at the prototype stage. It includes only operational cargo planes. Currently, the top 10 largest military transport aircraft in the world are these. Number 10. Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules The C-130J Super Hercules was developed by Lockheed Martin. It is the latest production version of the C-130 Hercules. The Super Hercules made its first flight in 1996. It replaced in production the previous C-130H. Deliveries of this tactical airlifter commenced in 1998. By 2014, over 280 Super Hercules aircraft of various models have been delivered to at least 14 countries. Largest operators are U.S. Air Force, U.S. Marine Corps, Australia, Canada, India, Italy, and the United Kingdom. In the Royal Air Force Service, this aircraft is known as Hercules C-5. This tactical transport aircraft has a payload capacity of 19,000 kilograms. It can carry 92 soldiers or six pallets or two to three Humvees or a single M113 armored personal carrier. Its stretched version, the C-130J30, has a payload capacity of 20,000 kilograms. It can carry 128 soldiers or eight pallets with cargo. Number nine. Shashi Y9. In 2001, development of a new tactical transport aircraft commenced in China. It was designed as a replacement for the Y8 fleet of transports, copying a Soviet AN-12. The Chinese attempted to create a tactical transport aircraft comparable to a US C-130J Super Hercules. Eventually, the Y8 was stretched, improved, and upgraded to create the Y9. This military transport aircraft made its first flight in 2010 and became operational with the Chinese Air Force in 2012. The Y-9 can carry 25,000 kilograms of cargo, though reportedly this aircraft will also take off overloaded with 30,000 kilograms of cargo. This transport aircraft can carry 106 passengers, 132 paratroopers, or 72 stretchers. Alternatively, it can carry two ZLC-2000 airborne combat vehicles that can be paratropped. The Y-9 can carry various other military vehicles, including light trucks, cargo containers, or pallets. The rear cargo door serves as a ramp. Number 8. Airbus A400M The Airbus A400M Atlas is an international project. This medium-range aircraft made its first flight in 2009. This airplane was ordered by 10 countries. Major operators will be Germany, France, Spain, United Kingdom, and Turkey. First production aircraft were delivered in 2013. The A400M will replace a variety of aircraft, including Lockheed Martin C-130, Hercules, and Transall C-160. Advanced design of the Airbus A400M incorporates extensive use of composite materials. It is fitted with turboprop engines. These engines were selected because of a number of advantages, such as cruise fuel efficiency and lower operating costs. The A400M has a maximum payload capacity of 37,000 kilograms. It can carry two 8x8 armored vehicles. This military transport can take off and land on soft, semi-prepared airfields and requires relatively short runways. It was also designed to operate with limited or no ground facilities. Number 7. Kawasaki C-2 The Kawasaki C-2 is a new Japanese medium-range military transport. It became operational with Japan's Air Self-Defense Forces in 2016. 
Around 30 to 40 aircraft are planned to be delivered. These will eventually replace a fleet of older Kawasaki C-1 and Lockheed Martin C-130 Hercules tactical transport aircraft. The Kawasaki C-2 follows in the lines of the previous C-1. Its layout is typical for a modern military transport aircraft. In order to decrease development and production costs, it was developed in parallel with the Kawasaki P-1 Maritime Patrol aircraft and shares major airframe parts, basic wing structure, and system components. This military transport has similar dimensions and payload capacity to the Airbus A400M. The Kawasaki C-2 can carry much more cargo than the aircraft it replaces. It has a maximum payload capacity of 37,600 kilograms. The older C-1 can carry only 10 to 12 tons, and C-130 Hercules 19 tons. The Kawasaki C-2 can carry around 120 troops, or eight standard air cargo pallets, or one UH-60J helicopter. Number 6. Ilyushin IL-76 The IL-76, NATO designation Candid, was the first Soviet four-jet heavy transport. Its production commenced in 1974. Over 800 of these military transport aircraft were built. Together with the AN-12, it formed the backbone of the Soviet Airlift Command throughout the Cold War. It was used to fly strategic military cargoes into frontline air bases in the most extreme operational conditions. This aircraft is still in service with a number of countries. The IL-76 has a maximum payload capacity of 50,000 kilograms. It was designed to deliver heavy vehicles and machinery to remote poorly serviced airfield. It can operate from short and unpaved runways. The IL-76 can cope with the worst weather conditions experienced in Siberia and Arctic region. Number 5. Xi'an Y-20 The Y-20 is a new Chinese transport aircraft. It was developed by Xi'an Aircraft Corporation with Russian and Ukrainian assistance. Nevertheless, it is the first heavy airlifter developed in China. Development commenced in the 1990s. In 2006, the program became a national priority. The Y-20 made its first flight in 2013. China became the fourth country in the world after the United States, Russia, and Ukraine that developed a 200-ton military transport jet. The military transport aircraft entered service with the Chinese Air Force in 2016. The Y-20 has a payload capacity of around 60 to 66 tons. It can carry most large combat and supportive vehicles, including the Type 99 series tank. In terms of payload, the Y-20 fits between a larger Boeing C-17 Globemaster III and similar in size Russian Lushin IL-76. The Y-20 is also superior to the IL-76 in terms of aerodynamic arrangement and performance. The Y-20 can be even seen as a strategic airlifter. It has sufficient range to reach most of Europe, Africa, Australia, and Alaska. Previously, China lacked such heavy military transport capability. Number 4. Boeing C-17 Globemaster III The Boeing C-17 Globemaster III is a workhorse of the United States Air Force, flying regular strategic supply missions around the world. The development of this heavy transport aircraft commenced in the 1980s. It made its first flight in 1991 and reached initial operational capacity in 1995. It replaced the Lockheed C-141 Starlifter. A total of 250 of these aircraft were built. It is used by the U.S. Air Force and some other countries around the world. This airlifter has a payload capacity of 76.6 tons. It can carry M1A2 Abrams tanks or three Stryker 8x8 armored vehicles or three AH-64 Apache helicopters or airdroppable platforms up to a weight of 49.8 tons. It can also carry a mix of palletized cargo and vehicles. The C-17 can routinely operate from airfields previously denied to jet-powered transports. If required, it can operate from unpaved, unimproved runways. Number 3. Antonov AN-22 The AN-22 is the world's largest turboprop aircraft. 
At the time of its introduction in 1965, it was the world's largest aircraft. The AN-22 was extensively used in major military airlifts of the Soviet Union. However, it was never produced in large numbers. This aircraft has a payload capacity of 80 tons. It could carry four BMD-2 airborne combat vehicles. This airlifter can operate from unprepared airfields. It can take off and land on soft ground. Currently, only six of these aircraft are in service with the Russian Air Force. These appear to be operated by an independent military transport aviation squadron. Additional 18 planes are in storage. The Antonov AN-22 outperformed the Boeing C-17 Globemaster III on this list. Technically, this aircraft is a bit larger and can carry slightly more weight, even though the C-17 is a much newer and much more advanced machine. Number 2. Lockheed Martin C-5M Super Galaxy The Lockheed Martin C-5M Super Galaxy is the workhorse of U.S. strategic airlift capability. Also, it is the largest aircraft routinely operated by the United States Air Forces. The first operational C-5 Galaxy aircraft was delivered in 1969. A total of 131 C-5 series aircraft were delivered until 1989. About 125 of them are still operational. The C-5M is the largest upgraded version which is faster, has longer range, and can carry more payload. The United States ordered a total of 52 C-5M aircraft that are being converted from the older C-5 series airlifter. The Super Galaxy has a carnivorous interior with roll-on roll-off capability. Cargo can be accessed at both ends of the aircraft. It has a maximum payload capability of 130 tons. It can carry two M1A2 Abrams main battle tanks or 7-10 8x8 armored vehicles. Striker or LAV-25 or 16 Humvees. These transport aircraft are operated by the U.S. Air Mobility Command, the Air Force Reserve Command, and the Air National Guard units. At least two aircraft are assigned to Air Force Special Operations Command and fulfill a Special Forces role. The Super Galaxy aircraft are planned to be operational until 2030. Number 1. Antonov AN-124 The Antonov AN-124 Ruslan, NATO designation Condor, is named after a legendary giant. It is broadly similar to the slightly smaller Lockheed C-5 Galaxy. Currently, the AN-124 is the world's largest production military aircraft. Only the one-off Antonov AN-225 is bigger. Development of this long-range heavy transport plane started in 1971. It made its first flight in 1982 and entered service with the Soviet Air Forces in 1987. With its introduction, the AN-124 has set a number of world records. A total of 54 Antonov AN-124 Russian aircraft were delivered by 1995. Currently, over 40 of these are in service. Most of these aircraft are in commercial use, and only a small number are assigned directly to the air transport arm of the Russian Air Forces. However, there is a provision for many civilian registered aircraft to be called into military service if necessary. Russia remains the only military operator of the Ruslan. The aircraft has a maximum payload capacity of 150 tons. The cargo hold of this strategic airlifter can carry virtually any load, including virtually all Russian armored combat vehicles, helicopters, and other oversized cargo.